Right, remember our Q&A session that we were supposed to have. There have been a little bit slack on, but uh, I've still got the questions, so I'm going to do it now. In the piece-by-piece piece, uh, process today is March the 9th, 2010. And these questions are just as relevant as when they were sent back, um, unfortunately, in December, would you believe it's going to take me that long to get around in. But I'm going to answer a few of them today. There are a few. Um, first one is, is from someone called Terry, and he says, a few questions. Should you have ShopRite in your portfolio along with MassMart, or is it either one or the other? Now, in the world of choices, obviously, uh, you've got to compare the two. And we've done quite a nice video on MassMart's last set of results. I think the problem with ShopRite lies is that it's run really hard. Look, I mean, there's no question about it. ShopRite have been one of the best performing big ticket stocks on the Aussie over the last um, 24 to 36 months and have probably comfortably outperformed the market. But they're trading on what looks to me like quite a demanding multiple and looks like earnings are going to perhaps level off. Maybe food inflation won't be you know, as forthcoming for them as it has in years gone by. Um, the thing about MassMart is that they operate in, in quite a wide variety from general merchandise all the way through to food. It's a good quality outfit shop, right? It really is. So, you know, there's no reason not to have it in the portfolio. It's just we understand the big box model of, of, of MassMart and think that that's where uh, you're going to see big uh, growth in the South African market where people are going to head away from the traditional kind of local-based stores all the way through to the big box retailers, and that's what MassMart does it best. So it's about, for us, identifying a trend that we're comfortable with. Um, also, MassMart's slightly better margins, but that's perhaps not fair, comparing food and, 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 and furniture and TVs to you know, perhaps some more high-ticket stuff inside of MassMart. Right, so I hope that's dealt with your question, Terry. And then Terry's got another comment on... Few commentators have been negative of Sassel. What is your opinion? You know we've liked the stock at various times. Um, this one's currently under review, and in fact we'll have a video towards the end of the week uh, where you'll be able to see our views on the stock specifically. So uh, stay tuned for that, Terry. Um, and then Terry's got one last question. It says, offshore, are you sticking with Nokia? Is Siemens comparable? And if so, how do its prospects com uh, compare? Of course, Terry's referring to our uh, New York operation, where we do have a recommended suite of stocks. And Nokia is one of them. Look, I think the, the reason why we picked Nokia over any of the others um, is pretty simple. It, roughly four out of every ten handsets sold globally are Nokia handsets. Now, they've been criticized for not being perhaps as aggressive as their competitors. Now, must remember a lot of the margins in the smartphone uh, arena, you know, where the guys like Research in Motion play with their BlackBerry, and of course there's the Apple iPhone. Then more recently, Google, the Nexus one, and then you've got a whole suite of also Nokia smartphones. Uh, the most recent one, um, you know, quite a high level, Ticket. Of course, we're talking about touchscreen phones, yeah, things that do. And there's basically been an explosion of smartphones over the last 24 months or so, and along with that, hundreds of thousands of applications that go with it. So I think for the time being, we're going to stick with Nokia simply because of their size and scale, and it's not just about the smartphone market. It's also about their massive dominance in, in places like India, for instance. You know, Nokia is as recognizable a brand in, in India as it is here uh, in South Africa. So there's the first part of our Q&A session. I hope to have more tomorrow uh, where I can answer these various questions and perhaps we can even do this on a daily basis. So thanks for sending in your questions and apologies for not getting around to them, but uh, here's my way now.